can something so ugly still be kind of cute? We just got home and we're going to go ahead and feed. We did have a predator problem yesterday. And it was right over here. Okay. We found a chicken dead inside the chicken pen. But the feathers were outside of the pen and I'll show you right here. Okay, here's some feathers. There's her feathers there. All of these. And then it's, there's some over here. These are feathers, and then right along the fence line on the goat's side. Really? She just she just broke the, she just rammed into that and broke that. And then that stump out there is where the chicken was laying. Get back. Get back. Get your head back. Oh my gosh, here we go. This is the hard part. Oh, man, they startled me. Get down, get down. Those hens that were with that little rooster are a bit wild. Let me take one of these out. Let me take one of these out, guys. Come on. Okay. I'm wondering if Onyx and Cloud are pregnant because I left them with the buck for, I don't remember, it was two or three weeks. I wanted to leave them with them for a month, but the girls got upset that they were separated and it's rain sun, so I couldn't have rain with them and Stormy was too young. So I had to take him out early, but I think they're bred. Hi, kitty. So when we got home yesterday, that chicken was in the middle of the pen and it was dead and the feathers were outside of the pen. <clears throat> the wind wasn't blowing yesterday at all, which is unusual, but it, it wasn't. Now we gotta feed the boy goats. Boys are a little bit easier than the girls, but not by much. Only because there's two of them. The gate's easier to open though. No.
<clears throat> I found them in Caleb's pen, which that's not supposed to happen. They're not supposed to be in his pen. What's He's, wrong? Uh, he was just laying on his back and it's not doing much. Sup? Well, just, you're holding him. He doesn't do this when I hold him. What does he do? He flaps and tries to get away. Well, you're, you're holding him. Okay. Well, let's put it. Let's set him down. Don't drop him or anything. He, he could have broken bone or something. Set him with the um, the birds, the hens, and let's see what he does. But you gotta set him down, Greg. If he's hurt. <clears throat> Let that be a lesson to you, buddy. Stay out of Caleb's pen. He's limping a little bit, but he... I guess he looks okay. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. I think he's okay, though. And here's the hen, uh, the Drake. She was laying on eggs in the coop, so I need to probably see why she's up. But sometimes when we come home to feed and water, she gets up and she gets a drink and she gets some feed, and then she goes back and sits on the on the eggs again. She's still broody until, by the way, she's walking. But she's broody. Just notice something guys this is not good like this is not okay first of all let me show you this that's not a chicken feather that's not one of our chicken feathers but let's go back into I'll just show you from here that's, that's a hen. Now I know what happened to the rooster because he was in Kayla's pen. And you're not supposed to go in Caleb's pen. And Caleb wasn't with the goats today. I'm still not putting him with the goats if I'm not home. If it's a weekend, he goes, well, he comes in with the goats um, every afternoon while we're home for a couple of hours. And then on the weekends, he's he's with the goats all day. <clears throat> but he was in his pen today, and that rooster got into his pen. Here's those hens that startled me a while ago. They're back over here where they're supposed to be. So they're in their, their pen where they're supposed to be. And see, Caleb's pen's right next to theirs. And then on the other side of Caleb is the boys and then the girls over here. Okay, so this over here, two pens down from Caleb. Goats did not do this. And it looks like the head is gone off of this too yeah so the heads off on this one this is the second one yesterday we found Americana just like this one with a head missing just like this that's the first time that rooster has gotten over with Caleb so I imagine whatever did this scared him quit biting me Why doesn't he eat the whole thing? And why doesn't it bother the goats? Whatever it is, why doesn't it bother the goats? So this is in the goat pen. Again, here's the chicken pen right next to the goats. Yesterday, the, the hen that was dead was over here by that stump. But the feathers were along here. Well, this could be this chicken's feathers today. Um, 
the, the feathers were outside here. And why doesn't it bother him? Because that's just chicken wire over there. And a coon could easily get in through chicken wire or a dog or anything else. Guys, tell me what you think this is, doing this. This is, this is frustrating. This is very frustrating. We've been setting traps and this year we've caught three raccoons. And you saw the possum, which that was the other day. And we've been setting the trap every night. I've got goats pulling on my shirt. We've been setting the trap every night and whatever's getting the, the bait is um, getting it and getting out without even shutting the door. Sometimes the door's shut and there's just nothing. It didn't trap anything. It just gets the food, the door shuts and there's nothing in there. And then we got that snake. What, last week? Last weekend? And we still have chickens dead. This isn't... We don't normally have to deal with this much here. Okay, we're going to get this hen up and bring the dogs over. We bring Dandy out here with Caleb. Um, because they both need to play. They both need to run off energy. Rain usually keeps them in line, both of them. So I can't really, it's hard to imagine something getting in here, um, and doing that to a bird with rain here, if it's not big enough to take the goats out. Because rain... We'll put them in their spots. Okay, can you see all the, look, the trees we have? We don't usually have, I have never actually had a problem with hawks. I've never seen that. We just have too many trees out here. And it's hard for them to come down. I mean, yeah, they can do it, but it would be hard for them to come down and grab a bird and, and, and do a quick getaway. Because there's too many trees. But I am just... I mean, I guess a, a raccoon could get in and rip the head off and get out, but would they do that? Is that something that they would do? Just come in and take just the head. It looked like the head was pulled off. Like the head, the neck, you know, was just ripped out and the rest of the bird was left alone. <sighs> Guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think it is. Because that one yesterday, was in this pen here and this is where the birds are this is where the chickens stay and it was in its pen now the feathers were outside the gate <clears throat> but his body was here in the middle headless just like this one and they found they found where the bird was but there are feathers everywhere. And if it's a raccoon, why doesn't it mess with these guys? This is just, this is just chicken wire. It's not real secure, it just holds the birds in. It doesn't really keep anything out. I mean, look at, look at the door here. And this, it, there's the goat pen. And here they are. So if it's a raccoon, how come he didn't just come over here and get these two? These are really helpless. I guess I'm going to have to finish this for real. Over here is where we got 
the roosters that we're going to get rid of hopefully this weekend at the auction but we started it up here up here by that and we move it twice a day and this is what <clears throat> this is what they're doing with the grass and the weeds they don't eat all of it like they don't any of these left they don't do anything with it see but I mean you can see the path that they had they were on we turned around down there and they're headed back up this way and they'll be back up here to where I am hopefully by this weekend before we take them to the auction but I'm out here looking at the roosters one we're gonna move them it's time to move them and feed them but two just to see if they're here I mean I don't understand why something would go in with the goats and over by the dog to take a head off a chicken when it'd be easier to get into this. Wait. This is where they were, and we took them on down. You can see where we had them a couple of days ago, and they're coming back up this way, and tomorrow they'll be here. And we'll let them take care of all this, as much as this as we can, as much of this as we can until the auction, and I hope we make it to the auction. Because I'm really, really tired of having this many roosters, and I'm really getting frustrated with the losses that we've had. Everybody else seems to be doing okay. The goats are fine. The dogs act like nothing's wrong. Chickens are acting strange, but uh, you know, I would too. Well, this isn't the video that I wanted to make. Obviously, my plans changed. And um, when you come home and start the camera, uh, there's really no, no telling what you'll find. Um, but that's all I'm gonna do today. Uh, I'm gonna take some time to think about this and, and figure out what to do. And like I said, hopefully, I'll be able to catch something this weekend. I'm off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The only thing I can think of why we have so many predators this year is somebody bought the land across the street from us and they've been doing a lot of work over there, bulldozer and, and excavating and um, they're, I think they're gonna build a house over there. So, and it was on 20 something wooded acres. So, I mean, that could have had something to do with it. But I just need to figure out what it is and how to catch it. Uh, my pins, my uh, my chicken run, it's not that secure, but I've never had this much problem with predators, so I, I really haven't had a need to, to have them locked up. But leave a comment below, tell me what you think, and if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. Hit the like button, click that little notification bell so that you get notified each time we put a video out. We go live on Mondays at 6 p.m. Central Time, and we'd like to see you there. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.